for Dobell. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. On the 5th of December 2013, I had the privilege of speaking in this place for the first time. On behalf of the people of Dobell, I outlined my vision for a future with hope, reward and opportunity. I spoke of the need for stable jobs that provide meaningful work, essential to allowing us to take out long-term investments in our homes and our future. A stronger economy is the key to almost everything we wish for as a community. This government's first budget corrects our nation's course, setting us on a path towards more jobs, higher wages, better services and a stronger and more cohesive community. These objectives drive our economic action strategy. We must repair the budget and build a strong and prosperous economy for all Australians. In my maiden speech, I spoke about my desire to see Dobell prosper. My desire for a region home to a vibrant and healthy community, well supported and connected through coordinated services and infrastructure. A region with more local employment and quality investment. A region where residents have choice. This budget forms a foundation upon which a stronger Dobell will be built. This government is getting on with the job of building a stronger economy so that everyone can get ahead. This means abolishing the carbon tax, ending the waste, stopping the boats and building the roads of the 21st century. But we must never forget why we were elected to do this. Labor's legacy to Australians is 200,000 more unemployed, gross debt projected to rise to $667 billion, $123 billion in cumulative deficits, more than 50,000 illegal arrivals by boat, the world's biggest carbon tax and a $1 billion per month interest, interest bill. We simply could not continue as we were when Labor and the Greens were in charge. We could not afford to continue paying the mortgage on the credit card to the tune of $1 billion per month. We are doing what we said we would do. The budget calls on everyone to contribute to join and grow the workforce, to boost productivity and help build a stronger economy with more investment. The government is making historic investment in the 2014-15 budget to get on with building Australia's infrastructure. A core element of the government's economic action strategy is the commitment of an additional $11.6 billion for the infrastructure growth package. By 2019-20, the Commonwealth's total investment in infrastructure will be $15 billion. The people of Dobell and the Central Coast have long been calling for their fair share of infrastructure funding. For too long, our needs were ignored, and for six long years under Labor, the people of Dobell were neglected. Dobell will benefit from this government's commitment to build the infrastructure of the 21st century with $7.15 million for local infrastructure projects. Importantly, this investment will be geared towards enhancing our local economy, driving job growth and greater private investment in our region. As per our election commitment, we're providing $1 million to commence the Tugra Sports um, Precinct, a project that will deliver economic benefits to the Central Coast through increased sports tourism and, importantly, more jobs. The Tugra Sports Precinct will not only enable the hosting of regional and national sporting events, it will also provide local sporting clubs access to high quality sports fields and facilities for local competitions. Our investment has been welcomed by local sporting organisations. Uh, Mr Ian Rebilliard, Managing Director of the Central Coast Academy of Sport, welcomed our commitment stating the Tugra Sports Precinct is a much needed facility for the region and is well overdue. Country Rugby League Infrastructure and Game Development Officer Mr Graham Boland endorsed this project stating the development of this facility will allow for large-scale events and add immeasurably to the economic, social and health benefits of the Central Coast community. As the member for Dobell, this investment will help realise my determination for Dobell to become the sports tourism capital of New South Wales. In addition to supporting sports tourism, it is vital that we invest in and enhance existing infrastructure to support our local economy. The Nora Head boat ramp is Dobell's only sea access boat ramp. The boat ramp plays a vital role in supporting our tourist economy, drawing locals and visitors alike to our magnificent beaches and coastline. Our $700,000 investment will enable Wyong Shire Council to complete the necessary repair work on this $3.25 million project. 
The Mayor of Wyong Shire Council, uh, Councillor Doug Eason, recently congratulated the Assistant Minister for Infrastructure and Regional Development, Jamie Briggs, for visiting Nora Head in April to sign the funding agreement. And the fact that the minister was able to observe firsthand the difference this money will make to the community who will now be able to enjoy a safe, accessible and functioning boat ramp was invaluable. Investment in infrastructure is key to addressing our future growth needs. And it's anticipated that the Central Coast will grow by an additional 100,000 people by 2031, requiring 45,000 new local jobs. The growth area largely falls within the Dobell electorate. Therefore, as a government, it's crucial that we work with state and local governments to effectively meet growth and infrastructure demands. Our growth plan for the Central Coast addresses this need by providing funding for the Ridgeway and Jensen's Road two roads which are under pressure as a result of our rapid population growth. Our $2.75 million investment will enhance the safety and quality of these roads, affording motorists with safer access to the growth suburbs of Lizaro and Arimba via the Ridgeway and the lakeside suburbs of Tugrawong and Wyonga via Jensen's Road. Investment in Central Coast roads are part of this government's commitment to provide necessary infrastructure to support commuter access to employment. In addition to these local road projects, the government will deliver substantial investment to ease the commute for the 30,000 plus Central Coast residents who travel daily outside the region for employment. After years of talk, this government will build the North Connects, delivering the missing link between the M1 and the M2. North Connects is a significant project for the Central Coast and for the people of Doe Bell. But this is more than reducing travel times. This is importantly about investment and jobs. The budget also commits $1.95.8 million for the M1 productivity package. Uh, this funding includes the widening of the M1 to six lanes between Tugra and Doyleson interchanges. Together with the North Connects, these measures will deliver shorter and safer travelling options for Central Coast commuters, meaning that they spend less time in traffic and more time with their families. While this infrastructure assists those who commute for work, we must remain steadfast in our determination to strengthen the local economy and provide for a broader range of job opportunities in Dobell. For too long, our region has suffered an unemployment rate well above the national average. Coupled with low school completion rates and underrepresentation in tertiary education, it's crucial that we encourage and assist people to earn or learn. This government is delivering on its commitment of $2.7 million towards the development of skills and training facilities in Dobell to enable our young people to learn in order to earn. Changes to welfare payment eligibility will strengthen the incentive for young unemployed people to work or pursue education and training opportunities. Mature job seekers will also benefit from this government's initiatives to encourage workforce participation. Restart aims at assisting those over 50 who have been receiving income support for over six months. Employers will receive a $10,000 incentive to employ a person aged 50 or, and over for up to two years, and potentially this could benefit approximately 1,100 people in Dobell. Together with the government's job commitment bonus and relocation assistance to take up a job, job seekers should feel secure in pursuing employment opportunities. The best form of welfare is work, and where people are able to work, they should be encouraged and supported to do so. The higher education initiatives outlined in the budget support alternative pathways to higher education by providing direct financial support to all students studying diplomas, advanced diplomas and associate degree courses. For young people in Dobell, this means for the first time those studying a diploma through TAFE will receive the same financial assistance from the government as a student studying a bachelor degree at university. The government will establish a Commonwealth scholarship scheme to assist disadvantaged students by providing support and encouragement to undertake tertiary education. Undergraduate students will no longer have to pay fees to access fee help and vet fee help. Now, I acknowledge that not all young people choose to study at university and those who choose to undertake an apprenticeship should be equally supported. The introduction of trade support loans for apprentices will encourage more young people to undertake a trade and, importantly, complete their trade. Apprentices will have access to $20,000 over the entire period of their training. 
Apprentices who successfully complete their training will be rewarded with a 20 per cent reduction from the total of their loan. Like the HELP loans for tertiary students, the loans will be repayable once the apprentices are earning a sustainable income. This is real support for apprentices, which will provide a stronger incentive for young Australians to complete their apprenticeship and, for many, opportunity to start their own business. Small business is the backbone of, Dobell, of the Dobell economy. Collectively, they are our largest employer. Therefore, support for small business is essential in enhancing local job opportunities. The budget contains a series of measures that will assist small business operators, including the establishment of the Small Business and Family Enterprise Ombudsman. The Ombudsman will act as a one-stop shop for small business when dealing with the federal government, thus reducing compliance costs and red tape. And this enables small business to get on with the job of attending to their customers, improve their productivity and to grow, generating greater job opportunities. The former Labor government failed Australian small business, inter alia imposing the world's biggest carbon tax, which drove up costs and destroyed jobs. But we are providing real assistance to small business. We're abolishing the carbon tax and reducing the burden of unnecessary red tape. And uh, we demonstrated this through Parliament's first ever regulation repeal day, which we held on the 26th of March this year. Small businesses will play a key part in the Abbott government's economic action strategy to build a strong and prosperous economy and a safe and secure Australia. Above all else, this budget delivers on our election commitments. In Dobell, this includes $3.3 million to clean up and improve water quality of Tugra Lakes. The Tugra Lakes Estuary Management Plan will receive this funding over three years to improve water quality by expanding the upgrade of stormwater treatment zones, including the removal of sediment and other organic matter, and the upgrading of gross pollutant traps. The main aim of this plan is to provide direction for the ongoing management of Tugra Lakes and its catchment in order to ensure the sustainability of its uh, ecological systems. The people of Dobell care about Tugra Lakes, and this funding is an important part of this government's commitment to a healthier environment. Dobell will directly benefit from the Green Army program. In Dobell, the program will improve our local environment by providing funds for dune restoration and rehabilitation at the entrance north, along with practical environmental works to clean up the Tugra Lakes foreshore and enhance the central coast wetlands. In addition to providing support for our natural environment, the Green Army program supports Dobell job seekers through providing opportunities for young people to gain training and experience in areas of environmental and heritage conservation and explore careers in conservation management. The Green Army will be Australia's largest ever team, supporting environmental action across the country, building to 15,000 young Australians by 2018. Now, we have the plan to fix Labor's debt and deficit disaster. And while this has been a tough budget, it's also a visionary budget which delivers on the commitments we took to the Australian people at the last election. First and foremost, we said that we would get the budget back on track, invest in job-creating infrastructure and support local small business and job creation. We are doing what we said we'd do, and we are doing it because it is absolutely necessary for the long-term welfare of our great nation. This budget lays the foundation for a stronger economy by reducing projected debt by almost $300 billion over the next decade. Our economic action strategy will build a strong, prosperous economy and a safe, secure Australia. This budget delivers for Australia and it delivers for Dobell. This budget is building a strong foundation for all Australians to get ahead. And as I stated in my maiden speech, a stronger economy is the key to almost everything we wish for as a community. And I'm pleased to be delivering on our election commitments to build a more prosperous Dobell and a more prosperous Australia. Thank you. I thank the member for Dobell. The question is